It is golf's unofficial fifth major. It is the home of the PGA Tour. It is 18 of the most diabolical holes ever strung together. It is visually intimidating. It is narrow fairways. It is water at every turn. But for the player who outlasts all others, it is the richest prize in golf. It is the Players' Championship. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. For over four decades, this has been the home of the PGA Tour and the site of its flagship event as we bring you opening round coverage of the players. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. We've got a tie at the top. Opening round here in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, along with the four majors, this one of the five most significant events in the world of golf. It's the Players' Championship. This, of course, always a who's who in the world of golf. Nearly all of the top 50 players are here. And Frank, we focus in on our featured golfer, the rookie, now one of the favorites this week after winning down at Bay Hill on Sunday. And with the stadium closing hole, 16, the par five, that's reachable, 17. Of course, we all know how scary that shot is across the water. And then somehow having to drive the ball down 18 with the water on the left. It's called the players for a reason, Rich, and some say it's the strongest field in golf. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in a bunker. Boy, that was on an aggressive line. Couldn't quite get it to stop, and that will be left for par. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first, and he'll stay at even par. Well, somehow, that ball's got through the other side of the tree and really hadn't lost that much yardage. Good second shot, that last bounce, a little unlucky, but still that third shot sits up rather nicely into this par five. Four feet, all that's left for birdie. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second.
Okay, center of the green. Good shot. Nota Begay down on three green to look at this putt for birdie. Yeah, it's just very slightly up the hill. I don't think it's going to move more than a ball or so to the right. Nope. After that, safely in, it's a par here at the third. And he'll remain at one under par. That got a fortunate bounce. That'll oh, be just fine. So after the fortunate kick, his second to the par four. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. That's not a very confident stroke. That was well short coming back up the hill. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And this will remain a one-shot advantage. We've already seen some narrow landing areas on these first few holes. Number five, no different, and that is really a good tee shot there. Here we go, seven footer for birdie. Yes, a good read, it's a birdie here at five. Yeah, all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. 
from well down the fairway. This a bit of a tricky distance for his second. That is how you get to be world number one. A beautiful shot there to get it in tight. Ah, yeah, well done. It's back-to-back -back birdies here on this front side. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another great drive and another good opportunity to make another birdie. From the fairway nota, this is second. Left himself with 155, coming off a birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. A little further right, a little further up. That would have been close. This is a 19-foot putt. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And that's going to stretch the lead to two shots. That's going to be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. Oh, never a doubt. That one was tracking the entire way. It is in for a spectacular birdie. And the lead in this opening round is all the way up to three. Yeah, why not? Another great tee set. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Another excellent shot from around the green. Chance now for another birdie. Much 
more than a tap in there. It is a birdie at the ninth, and that will make this an even 30 for the front side going out in six under par. This up the right side off the tee. Well, that one's finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. Nothing wrong with that iron shot. It's a good one. Just a little short, a little light, but still a very good place to putt from. I mean, this is just becoming too easy now. That a sixth consecutive birdie. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. I think he'll be pleased with that. It's not close, but not out of the question to make an eagle three here. Yeah, a little bit more run. Obviously, it would have been closer, but all in all, two. Reach a par five and two. Good shot. Yeah, that's a little more uphill than you think, and that's going to come up a bit short. A six-footer now for birdie. Seven birdies in a row now. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Just gave that way too much. Okay, not particularly close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And this one might need a little bit extra encouragement, Rich, to make it up this slope, but all in all, not too difficult to putt. Sensational, what a putt there from a long way out that somehow goes down for a birdie. And he continues to build on this advantage. Sensational here on day one. Well, the branch has certainly slowed that one down, but fortunately, this ball winds up in a halfway decent spot. Yeah. 
Well, obviously that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. But far from his best. Seems unfair sometimes. That looked in the whole way. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. Unfortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Ah, that's how you play this 14th hole. That's in for birdie. Wonderful tee shot. So Iona, this his second from the fairway. He's left himself 133 yards to the flag and the pin on the left portion of the green. Oh, excellent shot. I love it when it's the right distance. This one just a little to the right. Nothing wrong with that. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And that's gonna keep this large lead right where it is. And this a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. That is right, and that may be gone. Had half the equation on that shot, the distance. Not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark, and well, let's see how good you can chip.
Just too much juicy grass between the ball and the club face. And it's always going to come up short out of that sort of light. Yeah, that's a good roll there to come away with just a bogey at this par five. He'll fall back to eight under par. Okay, that is safely on board the front part of this green, so an uphill putt to follow. Now this for another birdie. And this really is all about visualization. You've got to see the line in your head, pick out a spot, maybe a foot, foot and a half in front of you and aim for that. Thirteen feet away. Oh yeah, worth an exhale there. That's a good par save here at 17. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. All right, in the fairway. Frank, really challenging second shot here at the home hole, the 18th. You have to be decisive going in here. You can see all the trouble in front of you. Water left, that mounding on the right. Neither place really is good to go. So somehow you've got to muster up your best shot. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap in for his part. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Okay, a good putt for his par here at the 18th green. Our featured golfer right there after day one, sitting at a tie atop the leaderboard. Everything to play for these next three rounds. I mean, you couldn't really set up a leaderboard better than this today. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay III, and Diona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf.